Clouds. What's going on, Spartans? King here, bringing a another awesome episode. Hope you guys are prepared for some go wipes. We're doing an all go wipe session, so let's get started. Show you some awesome go wipes I did. I like to attack a few different bases. I attacked a Town Hall 10 that was under leveled. I attacked a Town Hall 9 that was maxed out. I attacked a 10 that was maxed out with no Infernos or no Expo. So definitely went for some interesting bases and went to work. Definitely proud of a couple of them. Not saying these are the best go wipe attacks because I am not that good at go wipe. Because I don't use it that often to be honest. I really don't. I use it once in a blue moon just because I don't think it's worth the amount of elixir and dark elixir that you spend in it. But it is definitely a lot of fun to use, so occasionally I will have some fun and do it. These golems are getting destroyed. Look at this inferno just wreck them. It's so sad. There goes two golems without even a fight, basically. And I froze them. I froze the inferno way too late. Really bad fail there. I was too concentrated on my hero, my king. Because you got to watch your heroes so much more now, because otherwise they'll die instantly because they're low health. Like that, the king is dead. And that's so sad that they die so easily. But you got to be a lot more careful with them. you got to baby them. But I did get the one star right there with that town hall. We're working on the 50% now. Queen's going to take that inferno out and work her way around. I'm thinking she's going to be the key to the 50%. So let's see how she can do here. She is low on health though. Let's invis her. And she's at 47, 48. Just racking up the kills here. 49. All she needs is one more. And let's give her a rage to help her out on her way. Might as well use the rest of our spells. We're at 52% in climbing. She's on a wall. So let's freeze these defensive towers there. And now she's through. Hopefully she can deal with them. And she's not. Whoa. Glitch. Really bad glitch there. Sorry about that, guys. Forgot that happened. I did cut it because the battle did end at 53 or whatever percent. And... Yeah, that was a rough glitch. For some reason, my reflector completely spazzed out and decided it didn't want to save. So it went all colorful for some reason. I don't know what happened, but we are just going to forget that even happened and keep moving on. I did do a decent job in that last attack. Let's get some more impressive attacks going, though. And you can see I did wall break through the first two walls here. My golems are on the left and right side of the base, working their way around. And I'm saving one golem for my queen at the end. It's a new strategy I've been trying with go wipe. Now I do know the goal or the uh, Pekka's are gonna go right for the center here because I did wall break all the way in. So I dropped them, and those girls are ready to rock and roll. So they're heading right in. Look at this! Boom! Rage! It's on! It's a party now! Let's go! Three Pekka's just destroying that center. Let's take that town hall out in two hits, and it's over. Got my backup troops behind them, and this center has no chance. Got my king enraged at full health in there. Got a random balloon trying to do work, and it's dead out of nowhere. But the P.E.K.K.A.s are still alive, and so is the king. The king has decided to walk around the entire wall just to kill the queen. She, he's going to kill her right here. Boom, she's dead. And I did freeze those defensive towers to save my P.E.K.K.A.s for a few more hits. And the P.E.K.K.A.s go down so fast with those double damage uh, Teslas, excuse me. Couldn't think of their name for a second. Going mind blank. But overall... Pretty awesome raid, not going to lie, doing pretty well here. The P.E.K.K.A. is down, but I do have my Golem, as I said, and it is taking all the hits from two max level cannons and two max level archer towers, and look how much health it has. It's so crazy. My Queen's coming up behind and taking the rest of that loot. Definitely getting the percentage points for sure. Going to help take out one of the cannons, try and save my Golem's life a little bit. And the Golem's doing just fine. However, there's one problem with the Golem. Once the Golem does go down, everything into, into two Golemites... You're going to see that the queen gets targeted really heavily here. And look how badly she gets damaged. She's at like 30% health and really dying quick. I jumped, a, I dropped a jump spell. I jumped a jump spell. However you want to say it, I did drop a jump spell here. And that was just to get my queen to that archer tower in order to end it. And we're at 75%. That cannon's going to finish my queen off. Let's see if we can get that army camp. We're not going to get it, but 75%. And that's all we have for today on that one. So let's show you another awesome raid real quick here. Maybe two more. I think we got two more awesome raids. We'll see. 75% though. Got 300,000 loot of each and 3,300 dark. 11 trophies for two stars. Pretty awesome. Not going to lie. I'm proud of that one. I did have fun doing it. That's for sure. Got to have plenty of fun, guys. If you're not having fun doing this, why do it? Now let's pull up one more raid here. Let's see. We got this one. Not a ton of loot. 
but it is a Town Hall 9, and I think it's a maxed out Town Hall 9. So that's, yep, it is. It's a maxed out Town Hall 9. So that's pretty impressive to find. Give this guy some props. It is hard to max out your Town Hall 9, especially nowadays when Infernos are just so tempting. I had to definitely rush when I got to Town Hall 9 because I did not want to wait for Infernos. And you know what? That's what most people do. But let's see. Got my troops clearing their way around this base. And I dropped my clan castle as a test there. They did slide to the left. Now I am going to wait. Now they're starting to head toward the center. So it's time to drop the P.E.K.K.A.s. Because I know that is the track they're going to head to. My king went for the center too. And unfortunately my queen has gone rogue to the right side there. That's unfortunate. But it's okay. She'll work her way back in I hope. And my P.E.K.K.A.s are doing work here. The golems are being useless. Unfortunately. And it looks like my king is going to die pretty quickly there. But the P.E.K.K.A. is hitting this wall. Let's enrage her, get her in. And she did not go to the center. I do not know what happened, but she went to another wall. She wanted to go for a different compartment. I don't know why. Super strange. P.E.K.K.A. on the right, though, knows what's up. She's going for that center. The King is still alive, doing plenty of work over there. Hopefully, we can get him through that wall one day soon. And he's finally through. 49-50% by the King. Got that center, trying to take that Dark Elixir. Looks like the queen decided she wants the dark more than anything else. So she took it. 53%. My king's working his way around the outside. Dying pretty quick. Queen's at full health. And I think I still have her in viz left. I'm not sure. Wasn't paying attention. Kind of spaced out for a second there, guys. But she is doing work. Taking those Teslas out. Now that cannon, unfortunately, is destroying her. Cannons are your worst nightmare for your heroes. And I invis the queen there. Give her a little health. Save her life. See if she can get this gold. And she does. Not that there was much to steal, but might as well take it. 66%, pretty solid, 19 trophy, 19 trophies, excuse me, and 1600 dark. I am not going to say it's a bad raid, but it was a pretty easy raid. Let's move on, so I need a drink of water there. <clears throat> and let's move on to the next raid here. This one, I just got a level 4 dragon, as you see. Coming to my clan castle, that's how awesome my clan is. They donate really high level things, even though I only ask for... I don't even ask for anything, to be honest. My request has nothing to do with what I want. People just know that dragons, wizards, and archers are what I like. And honestly, that's just the most efficient things in the game. So dragons are cool, but and they're fun to use. But honestly, archers and wizards are the best troops in the game overall. So here's an attack by I'm Up In It. A Bolinia attack. Super well done. Here's a few things he could have improved on. But overall, very well done for sure. He definitely was trying to get to the center of his base. If I were you, I'm Up In It, I know you're listening... Check out trying to do a few less balloons. If you had saved, let's say, six or seven balloons there and waited, you could have dropped them right about now and let the minions follow them in, and they would have taken out that air D in the center and maybe gotten that, uh, maybe, 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 very big maybe there, gotten that town halls early on. But key and queen were perfectly placed. They're going to town, taking out the outside of this base. I'd have dropped my archers a little farther to the right there, helped the queen out more. But they are doing a great job here. And let's see. Actually, you know what? That's probably key to this raid that the archers were dropped where they were. So I take that all back. <laughs> I take it all back. Look at this. Clan Castle goes down. This is what I want you to be impressed by. This is my level 5 P.E.K.K.A. I donated to them and my archers. And they are going to walk into this base. And they are going to take everything they want. Let's see how she does though. She goes through one wall getting shot at by that expo. And she takes this gold storage. Still being shot. Here's where it gets really impressive though, guys. She starts getting shot by the second level three expo there. And the damage is starting to rack up, you can see it. But she blows through the second wall, kills the air D, and then look at this, with 30, 40% health, less than 30% health, starts hitting that town hall. She ignores everything, goes right for it, and 10%, 5%, 3% dead. Right there, took the town hall and died. She sacrificed herself, got 15 trophies though. Really, really epic raid. Thanks for sharing that. I'm up in it. Thanks for doing a great job in the clan. And guys, if you're ready to see more awesome stuff, stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.